so in this session we are going to talk about the VHDL okay your VHDL is basically VHSIC hardware description language okay description language where your VHSIC expands to very high speed integrated circuits okay so this is your very high speed integrated circuits your VHDL is basically used to describe digital systems okay of any complexity level okay from simple gates to complex microprocessors you can use your VHDL to describe how your digital systems behave okay your description is basically along two lines okay you can either describe in terms of its behavior okay or you can describe in terms of its structural components or structure okay so in terms of structure what you can do is you can say that this circuit is made up of these type of gates which are connected in these fashion okay in behavior what you describe is when you give these inputs you get these outputs okay again your behavior in itself can be further classified or can be further described in VHDL in either data flow manner okay or algorithmic manner your data flow primarily deals with concurrent execution okay so this is concurrent execution so uh, all the statements that you have under your data flow descriptions would be executed concurrently okay all the signals would be changing their states concurrently okay while in algorithmic it is sequential execution okay this is just the broad description of VHDL we are going to look into these in greater detail later okay then let me tell you that your VHDL is case insensitive okay so I'm just going to write that VHDL is case insensitive and you use comments by double dash okay so if you have to write a comment saying VHDL is insensitive case insensitive then what you would do is you would write it like this okay insensitive so I'm just going to write that commenting okay is done by double dash okay now in VHDL you describe every object or every the every digital object in terms of its entity and its behavior or architecture okay so every digital object over here is having a entity description and a architecture description okay entity description you can think of it like a function declaration okay and architecture description you can think of it as function definition right let's see what your entity description tells you your entity description basically tells you how your object is interfaced with outside world or other objects how many input signals does it have how many output signals does it have what type of signals does it have that kind of information is represented using a entity okay let's see how do we define 